our history Buildings and people and memories and dreams Who better to tell us than those who were there There's so much to learn from the stories they'll share Living history Hello, this is Ted Goldsboro with the Living History Show, and today we're going to have fun talking to Pat McCabe, whose family ran a business, Rock Hill Quarries and McCabe Brothers, on Rock Hill Road in Balakinwood for decades. So welcome, Pat. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ted. It's really a pleasure to be here. Thank and, you. Uh, lived in Lower Marine Township uh, my whole life, and I did enjoy uh, spending some time talking to you about it. Great. And the township in general. I thought that we'd, uh, our overview of what we're going to talk about today is that uh, we're going to start with some atlases and describe what's on the atlases, because I know atlases are sometimes hard to see on the television screen. And we're going to talk about stone, quarry stone, and I have to tell the audience that my great-grandfather was a stonemason, so maybe that helps to uh, add a little bit to why I'm interested in stone, but Pat's family was in the stone business for generations. Uh, the first generation of Irish McCabe brothers, and there were four of them, I believe? Yes, there were four. Uh, my dad and his three younger brothers came to this country the early part of the 20th century um, and uh, spent their whole life uh, working and uh, enjoying the fruits of America. So uh, later on, audience, Pat does a great imitation of an Irishman, so he's <laughs> going to do that for us, something to look forward to. <laughs> and then the McKay brothers owned the quarry, but they also built some houses. And the house that Pat grew up in at 2 Radcliffe Road in Balakinwood, we're going to have some images of that, the beautiful stonework and the stone claim from Rock Hill Quarry. So we'll look at that house. And that's kind of a transition for us from talking about the quarry and the McCabe brothers and the construction over to Pat's personal life. And uh, in uh, then we're going to go down to Bala Kinwood and talk about Bala Avenue and the Egyptian Theater and the stores that were on Bala Avenue. And uh, then we'll come back and see some other houses that the McCabe brothers built. And we'll talk about Pat's family history, uh, his wife and his children. So we'll start with the names of the uh, McCabe brothers. We mentioned them, but we didn't give them a name. Okay, uh, my dad, Patrick McCabe and uh, his three brothers, Thomas, James, and Bernard, uh, affectionately referred to as Tom, Jim, and Barney. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um, and they all worked for McCabe Brothers. They were a partnership for most of their lives, all working together in various phases of a business that uh, fluctuated in what they did and ov over time, many, mm -hmm. many different areas of pursuit that they uh, endeavored to okay. do well in. About when did the, did the McKay brothers buy the Rock Hill Quarry? Uh, Ted, I don't have the exact dates on that, but it's, it's somewhere in the 1920s. Okay. And it was bought uh, in, in pieces, uh, one part of land after another, for over a period of probably 15 years or so. Okay. By the time, I guess, the Second World War, um, they had com accumulated everything that they uh, eventually owned. Mm -hmm. About how many acres would that be? About six? Um, no, originally it probably was more like 20 to 25. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, it stretched uh, uh, from the end of the row of houses all the way down to and including what is now uh, 160 Rock Hill Road. Mm -hmm. So okay. it was a considerable stretch. Okay. Yeah. To help the audience uh, understand where this is, let's look at some atlas pages and talk about them. Sure. 
uh, I think this one was around 1880 or 70, and I thought it was interesting on this one because there are a few buildings, but not too many. And, and let's talk about that mill that was in here somewhere for the audience's benefit. Yes. Uh, there was an article in the Mainline Times in 1979 about an old mill, and these maps have reference to the ruins of an old mill. And mm, yeah. in that mill, which was powered by Gully Creek, Gully, Gully Run. Gully Run Creek, yes. yes. Um, was a mill that ground up paper money. And <laughs> they say, why do, you, why do you want to grind up money? Yeah. And mm -hmm. the reason was mm -hmm. that it was during the Revolutionary War and inflation had run rampant. Right. So this one little bill was <laughs> worth maybe one one hundredth of a cent and the government just decided let's get rid of all those and we'll start over again. And that's where they that's where they did it. And that money was called a continental and yeah. I don't know maybe it was peculiar to our family but yeah. my father used to say ah yeah, that hammer isn't worth a continental. Right. <laughs> I, right. I never knew the significance yeah. Yeah. of it. Yeah. It came from <laughs> that period in our history. Yes, yes. and the mill was that's on Rock Hill Road. On Rock Hill Road. <laughs> Quite this a, this a, mass from 1851, lesson. and uh, again, Rock Hill Road, and it shows... 1851. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I, I have a tendency to do Go that. Ahead. Thanks, Pat. Um, what do these marks mean? Well, that's the hillside. That's the... Uh, if, you, if you look at the, the whole topography there, the, the Rock Hill Road, the present Rock Hill Road, was naturally a, a, a gully. That, that came between these two hillsides and, and water naturally flowed down and, and down towards the Schuylkill River. Um, and the fact that Rock Hill Road is so curvy today uh, is an indication that it followed the curve of the old gully run, which eventually became a horse path and then a cart path and then a vehicle path. Mm -hmm. um, and and the people of the times realized that uh, that area was heavily uh, um, blessed with the formation of rock and uh, they started to work into the hillside for, uh, for, for, for development. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what those brows uh, okay. duplicate. Now none of these yeah. names, well Jones, that old mill was called Jones yeah, Mill, yeah. but you don't recognize but these other, well, levering. Other, other than the names uh, of the streets in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, Perry W. Levering, obviously, his, uh, was the originating, origination of Levering Mill Road. Mm -hmm. There must have been levering, and he had a mill mm -hmm, someplace, mm -hmm. maybe on this road. I, right. I don't know. Look at all of the... Uh, Township streets that uh, mm -hmm. are a mill right. roads. McLennigan Mill. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and mills and fords. It all had to do with water. Yeah. Uh, on this 1851 map, there are factories listed, which I thought was interesting because today all we have left is where the Belmont Burial Vault Company was. Yes, a but segment of that in the in the in the back. By the but name there of are the no there are no factories no. that I'm aware of. No. There's mm -hmm. nothing there. Okay. Uh, I think that's the same map. And this one's interesting because this, the term. Yes. Uh, the terms flag and bluestone quarries. Um, in today's terminology, th those, thing, those names refer to uh, stones that are used for, for walking on. Uh, in this terminology, I, I think there, it was the building stone. And that was one of the things about the McCabe quarries and all the other quarries on Rock Hill Road, that there was a differentiation in color and texture and uh, the various uh, properties of it so that uh, architects could look at it and say, I want some bluestone, I want some mm -hmm. flagstone, et cetera. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of the names are kind of not interchangeable but used in the wrong mm -hmm. context today. In, in the quarry face, if that's the correct term? Yes, quarry face. Right. Um, would you have some stone that was brown, some that was gray, some? Oh, sure. Oh, oh very oh, much oh, so, oh. yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, later on we're going to show some pictures of the various homes, and the cave homes, and all the other homes, 
where um, an architect would specify uh, one particular mm. color mm. Uh, or a mix. And uh, generally, that's the way it came out. And, and back in the heyday of quarrying stone, when the McCabe's had three active steam shovels and the gangs of men that uh, worked with that, uh, they worked in different sections of the quarry mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. produce those kind of products. Okay, okay. good. Um, this is later. I think we're up to about 1948 in this one. Mm -hmm. And we have Rock Valley Corporation and McCabe. And could you name yes. some of the names there? Pretty soon we're going to have to take yeah. a break. <laughs> so we yeah. Well, um, as, as this map indicates Patrick and Bernard McCabe owned um, a good portion, not their entire holdings by, by this time. What year did you say I this was? I think it's 48, but it might be 37. I think it might be earlier than that. Okay, maybe 37. Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, down the street further, uh, Alio's quarry actually, in my time, was owned by a family by the name of Sen, S-E-N-N. Uh, we're going to have to take a break here. Okay. Sorry, we'll That's be right, right back after a break.